Hello, T.O. Hanna. We're coming to you today with our uh, final edition of our ticket policy of how we're going to operate for uh, C-Team JV and varsity football, as well as our JV and varsity volleyball matches, which are the sports we charge for in the fall. Uh, it's been a very difficult process. We're limited by COVID restrictions. Uh, please understand this isn't T.O. Hanna limiting you. This is the governor of the state of South Carolina and the Department of Commerce uh, who approved the appeal by the South Carolina High School League uh, for us to have fans at events. So let's, let's keep that in mind as I go through this. We are lucky that we have people coming to the events. If you've, if you've been watching college football the last two weekends and NFL, it's really weird to, to not see fans in the stands at, at some of the events. So uh, we feel like we've come up with a fair plan. Certainly if you have any questions, uh, always call the athletic Department or, or just grab me and I'll be glad to, to answer them as best I can. We're going to go through the uh, T.O. Hanna football ticket policy first. You know, we originally thought we could squeeze 1,250 people in the stadium and realistically our capacity is going to be 1,000 fans. That even includes 100 standing room spots that have to be six feet apart. A mask is required. Uh, you'll not be admitted without a mask. Hey, guys, we all hate the mask. I hate the mask. I hate saying social distance, but it's the world we live in right now. And for you to be able to come to an event, you're going to have to have on that mask. If you, do, if you get inside the stadium, refuse to wear it, we're going to politely show you to the gate and tell you to go home. Uh, another big change is there's not going to be any loitering in the stadium. You know, a lot of, a lot of kids hang out at the concession stand or outside the restrooms or they're running up and down the hill. All that's not going to be allowed. You're going to have to sit in the stands with your parents. And, and two big changes. If you're an eighth grade student or below in, in our school system, uh, for you to even enter the game, you're going to have to be with a parent. And as always, children six and under will be admitted free with a parent. That's always been our policy. To go through some specifics here, we're going to be selling tickets online this year, showing my age with my glasses on. Uh, ticket purchases will, will be made online on tohannasports.com. Uh, you'll go to the ticket tab in the upper right hand corner. Home games will be listed when the game goes live. You can purchase the tickets for the game. There will be a two ticket limit when you log on. The number available will change each week because it's based on the needs of the visiting team. We have to take care of the visitors as well. We can't just sell a thousand to our fans. Once the number available is sold out, the, the ticket link will shut down, which, which will work well for us. All right, we're going to go through sub-varsity games first, C-team and junior varsity uh, for a home game. We'll activate ticket sales on the day of the game at 7 a.m. for our parents and fans. So our sub-varsity games this week on Thursday, they'll go live on Thursday at 7 a.m. that morning. The visiting team will be provided a private code to activate and buy their allotted tickets. The visiting tickets will go live the day before the game and be activated from 7 a.m. until 11 p.m. Any tickets not purchased from the private code, we will then transfer over to the general sale uh, to allow our parents and fans to buy more tickets. Very important, very important, and this is going to come up. In a normal year, an all-sport pass guarantees you a ticket into any sporting event other than a varsity football game. With COVID, we'll try and estimate how many passes we may see, but when and if we hit 1,000 fans in the stadium, no one will enter with any kind of pass for a JV or C team football game. Not even a high school league pass will get you in once we hit our limit. An away game, each school has a different number of fans allowed on the visitor side of their stadium. We'll blast out information each week as to tickets and how to purchase. Most of those are going to be the same way, uh, which would be online. Away games, pretty much just need to plan on the parents going to watch their kids play. Uh, I doubt we'll have a game all year where uh, the general public would have tickets available. Varsity football game, big changes here. For a home game, we will activate ticket sales on the Tuesday of game week at 7 a.m. for available tickets. And that'll stay live until we sell out. 
Varsity football passes will be allowed to enter the stadium at the pass gate. And please keep in mind, we had to freeze these things. We sold, we almost doubled our sales in football passes because that guarantees you a, a seat in the stadium. The varsity football pass, though, only gets you in the stadium. Where you sit is determined as to what seats are available when you enter the stadium. To include the visitor side of the field, if the home side is full and there's room there. Visiting team, they will be given a private code for tickets that will activate on the Monday of game week, and it will only run from 7 a.m. Monday until 11 p.m. that day. Any tickets not purchased by visitors on Monday will be added into the amount we can sell to the general public. Another big change here, because the band's gonna be on the field, the TLH student section will no longer be section three. It will be section one and two, which are the first two when you come into the stadium where the band normally is. We'll also use section three if needed, because keep in mind, those seats can't be in pairs. Y'all have to be six feet apart with a mask on. And our students are so awesome. We love having y'all at the game. You add so much to the atmosphere. Sections four through seven, which starts at the press box and moves on down. And the visitor side will be for all others that enter. The probability, the number of tickets available is gonna vary week to week. We're thinking we're gonna have somewhere around 275 tickets that will be for sale on the Tuesday morning of game week. And when that runs out, it runs out, there, there's, there's nothing else. We anticipate that we won't ever sell a ticket on a Friday night for a ball game. We'll be sold out prior to. TLH students, you will not be allowed to sit on the visitor side of the stadium. We're not really able to split our stadium up. Uh, you will have to be in sections one, two, or three if you want to sit with your student group. Our band and sub varsity football players will sit in the end zones of the stadium. They will not be allowed to leave the field area and sit in the stands. And again, we'll only accept South Carolina High School League passes up until we hit our limit of 1,000 fans. Important information for an away game. We'll provide a link for our football parents, coaches, families, and cheer parents if cheers attending the game that week. The link will be posted the week of the game on the opponent's website and or we will provide the link to you via our website and or coaches group email. For example, this week we play Woodmont. Woodmont has sent us a GoFan link that will go active on Friday morning for our parents to go on and buy tickets. Because they can only allow 244 tickets on their visitor side, there will be no tickets available this week at Woodmont to the general public. It will only go to parents of players, coaches, families, and cheer parents that are attending. Each week this could change and we'll update each week as to what's available. There will be a pay-per-view option for varsity home games. This is something brand new and this is, this is to help uh, ease the burden of only a thousand people in the stadium. We will activate this option the week of our first varsity home football game, which is senior night on October 9th versus JL Man. Customers will go to the website, uh, Team One Prep, and click on TL Hanna. They can then select the game or games they wish to purchase, purchase by creating an account. And once you create an account, it's there. And the cool thing about this is when, when you pay for the rights to watch the pay-per-view, it's there forever. You can watch the game multiple times, which will be really neat. Our radio crew returns this year. We're excited about them. Christopher White, Kevin Selman, and Dickie Smith. They'll broadcast all varsity football games. They'll be at Woodmont this Friday for our first game. Uh, the stations provide the coverage are WABB 1390 AM and 105.1 FM. And it can also be heard online at wansfm.com. Thanks again. If you have any questions, contact us at the athletic department. All right, at this time, I want to go over our updated uh, volleyball ticket policy for fall sports. 
You know, unfortunately, with COVID, uh, to be a legitimate six foot apart and off the aisles, we can only seat 132 fans uh, in our main gym. That's 72 on the home side and 60 on the visitor side. Of course, masks must be worn at all times and social distancing required. We can only let a family sit together in a group and we ask that no one stand up top. In other words, find a seat in the gym. Uh, we will, due to the seating requirements, offer a maximum of 60 tickets to the schools visiting our facility. And I'm about to read how that's gonna happen. For home matches, online ticket sales will open online the day of the match at 7 a.m. for you to purchase a ticket on tohannasports.com. Coach Easton will provide a will call list for parents coming to the match the day before. Visitor fans, we will only, will only be able to purchase tickets the day before the match from 7 a.m. until 11 p.m. on tohannasports.com. We will provide the AD the link in advance. The max total of tickets available to visiting volleyball teams will be 60 people. To buy online, just like football, you go to the ticket tab in the upper right corner and the event will be listed. There will be a two ticket limit per each purchase. We will honor TLH All Sport passes to enter a match unless we've already reached our limit of 132 fans bought online. If you're the parent of a player, your All Sport pass will be listed by your name on the will call list. Basically, only player families will, will be able to attend a match due to the strict capacity in the gym. So, uh, general public, really, tickets just aren't going to be available for you. Big change here. Entrance for matches will be through the main entrance to T.O. Hanna, just like we do varsity basketball games. The game uh, staff and videographers can enter through the back door and need to be on the pass list to enter. If you have a handicap or an injury, let us know. We can assist with you coming in the back door. But all others must come in the main front entrance to the school to check in and buy your ticket. We will always, all events, open our gate one hour prior to the start of the match or game. Away matches, we'll send out information to the whole school as soon as we receive it the week of the match. For example, our volleyball team travels to Woodmont tomorrow and the AD will send me a link that will go live the day of the match for our parents to check in and buy tickets. As always, you can contact T.O. Hanna Athletics uh, here at 260-5110, that's extension 85151, or you can contact me directly at extension 85152 or my email, johncannonanderson5.net. Hey, again, this has been a unique challenge. Been doing this, uh, been, been an AD 19 years and never been through anything like this. It's all uh, unprecedented. Uh, we're always one positive test away from shutting the team down. And uh, that's the last thing we want to do, but we have to follow protocol because of the safety of our students, coaches, and our parents and fans are, are paramount. That comes first. Uh, hey, let's wear the mask, do the right thing. And uh, let's keep these games going and let's stay in school. Thank you.